Good morning, Oilers. I'm your host, Nick Luce, welcoming you to this week's edition of The Oil Spill. Today is Friday, February 16th. Here are your announcements for today. Looking for a chance to tinker and build? Join Mrs. Williams on Friday 3 to 4 in the Media Center to build a wind lift with no experience required. Did you miss book club? Well, you're in luck because we have moved the book club to Tuesdays. Come to room 204 after school on Tuesday, February 20th to enjoy snacks and conversation with Sedler and Kane. Stop by 204 to pick up a free copy of our first book, Fresh Ink. The GI Tech Health Sciences Club is doing a fundraiser over at the Blockhouse in Alma. You can support them by going to dinner or building on some silent auction items. The event is from 5 to 9 on February 21st. Now we're going to sports with the Ozone. Welcome to the Ozone, Jack edition. All right, tonight we got boys freshman JV and varsity basketball away at Carmen Ainsworth and boys varsity hockey home against Sandusky. And then we got bowling at Monitor Lanes. We got cheer at the districts and then we got hockey away at Caledonia. Oiler country. Let's ride. At this time, we'd like to honor our January athletes of the month. First up, we have Alba, Blas, Valenzuela. The senior main flyer has played a key role in the Oilers round three performance. She brings a tremendous work ethic each day and her leadership and positive energy has helped the competitive cheer team continually improve. Her growth through the season will be a positive example for future Oiler cheer members. Next up, we have Blaine Brown. The senior captain had to overcome an injury that sidelined him in the month of December. After returning to competition, Blaine finished in the top three at the St. Louis and Reed City invite and then was runner up at the SVL Conference Championship. He is currently 20 and seven on the year. I'm here with? Mr. Hansen. And Mr. Hansen, what is your special skill or talent? My special skills and talents revolve around disc golf. I help run the disc golf club um, with some students. So I have won some tournaments of my own and gotten some prize money from that to use towards buying more equipment. Um, you can win cash sometimes depending on the tournament as well. So I've won some cash before to use as I please. Um, but also the biggest thing is, is I do custom dies on discs. So I will get discs for myself that are just kind of white and I can make it look like this with all the color and all the stenciling and patterns on them. So that's one of, of quite a few that I've done. And do you sell those discs? I do, I've had uh, kind of a, like a partnership with, uh, I have a friend who runs a disc golf company where he sells apparel and runs tournaments and sells discs. So they've given me some of the discs that they have in their inventory and told me to do some patterns or whatever on them. And then they can kind of sell them at their tournaments and give me a little kickback on them. Um, but I've also done some for trophies for different tournaments that clubs that I'm involved in uh, have been put on. So. I've, I've made a decent amount of money. That's awesome. Well, thank you for your time. I appreciate it, and have a good day, Mr. Hansen. Welcome back to Season 2 of Super Smash Bros. Recap. I'm your host, Kelsey Grove, here to recap Week 3 of this season's Bell Smash and Valorant Leagues. First, we swept the competition in Smash this Tuesday. Mount Pleasant Blue took 2-0 due to an absent Mori Flex set Lavender. Mount Pleasant Gold lost 1-2 to Fulton. Mount Pleasant Red lost 0-2 to De La Salle. Alma Mount Pleasant took 2-0 on Flex Tech Blue. The next day in Valorant, Mount Pleasant Blue took 2-0 on Fulton, while Mount Pleasant Gold took 2-0 on Breckenridge. For today's Team of the Week, we have one of our Smash teams, Mount Pleasant Alma. They had an extremely impressive game this Tuesday against Flex Tech Blue. Hannah, Carlin, and Perez are all looking to take down many more opponents in the next few weeks. Thanks for watching today's Smash Bros. Recap. If you want to see us live, come through to the Twitch at Blockhouse Live every Tuesday at 4 for Smash and Wednesday at 5 for Valorant. To keep up with us in real time, follow us on Instagram at MPHS Esports. See you next week! This has been Nick Luce. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and have a great weekend, Oilers.